So, hey guys, man, have I got some great information I want to share with you guys. In order for me to do that, I've got to head over to my youngest boy's house. I'm getting ready to jump in the car and head that way now. So, guys, hang on, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to bring you this. This is a continuation of a project I've been working on for a while. Uh, if you've seen any of my past videos, you know I'm back over here at my youngest boy's house. And this area that I'm in now used to be really heavily wooded. Uh, we obviously still have a big project back here to get all of this cut up uh, and split. Uh, but that's for another day. Uh, got all the gravel brought in. He now has a nice place to park the camper, so it ain't over at my house anymore. Just kidding. But in one of the big projects that we've done is, if you've seen in past videos, we built the double-decker uh, swing set uh, fort playground area. And so um, this is all complete, and he has now added the 4x4 post in to form out the play area. And one of the biggest things that we've been looking, trying to figure out, is did he want to put sand down did he want to put mulch down and just wasn't happy with any of those products well so here's the big uh, two of the big things i wanted to share with you guys is one of the things that we're putting down and this uh, is different from a weed barrier this is called geotextile and i'm hoping that that you guys can see how it's woven this right here can actually be used to put down under gravel if you're putting in driveways it's really a great product the other product that I wanted to share with you guys is this right here. This is actually called playground mulch and it's wood chips and these are real soft and they're kind of spongy. So one of the jobs that I want to do this afternoon and uh, is I want to get this all spread through here. So I'm going to grab um, my uh, pitchfork and throw and then use my rake and work all this in. So guys, I'll get busy on this and then at the end we'll show you what this looks like once it's all spread. I don't think we'll have enough material to do it all, but I at least want to get the areas down where we have the geotextile. And then guys, please stay for the end. I will share with you some of the cost on this. So guys, you know me, let's get busy. Okay guys, this is one of the things I wanted to go in a little more detail about. This is what I was talking about earlier about the Geo Textile. I hope the camera can pick up. You can well, you can see it right here on the end. See how it's weaving or woven, I guess I should say? So it's got these going this way and this way, and this is what makes this so strong. These, uh, you, can, you can just Google uh, Geo Textile, and there's all kinds of thicknesses and all kinds of sizes. All comes in different size rolls and you just figure, need to figure your application. This is obviously a thinner version because we don't need this uh, just for more of a weed barrier, uh, but this is working perfect for this. Uh, and again, you can get this thicker uh, to even put under gravels for your roads. I've seen it used in both applications. This is a great product. It's a little pricey, but it's well worth it because it's one time, buy it, install it, and forget it. Or at least that's been my experiences uh, with what I've done and what I've seen other people do. So anyway, just wanted to show you about the Geo Textile. As I stated earlier in the video, we've had uh, lots of rain over the last few days. And you know, you can see here where it's washed out uh, with all the heavy downpours. This was all down. You can see this is wet, it's damp, but it's not gooey, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's you can still play on it. It's really cool, even though this is wet. So I'm impressed with that part of it. It's real easy to rake out even. So I think this is gonna uh, just make a great product uh, to do. This is a great alternative instead of doing the rubber mulch. And I think it's not near as heavy as those rubber mulch pieces would be. And so this is easier to put down and I know it's gonna be a lot cheaper. So one of the things I promised to hang on to the end of the video and I would share with you, uh, these, uh, this uh, is, Five, what I just put down let me back up and give you a big swing so this is uh, five yards of mulch uh, meaning five bucket fulls in most landscaping places the bucket is calibrated it's a yard 
Uh, you always want to make sure they heap it up just a little bit, uh, just to make sure they give you a full yard. But anyway, this sold for $30 a, a yard. So, uh, um, give you an idea of this very inexpensive option. So anyway, guys, just wanted to bring this to you. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, we obviously, Dylan will finish putting uh, the geotextile down in these areas. And I feel sure we'll probably get a couple of more uh, yards to finish this. And I also need a little bit more over here to thicken this up in this area just a little bit more. But I think the playground area for, the, for my grand girls is turning out fantastic. And I'm just tickled with the way it all looks. So anyway, guys, wanted to share. This is again Playground Mulch. So guys, ask a huge favor. If you will, please consider hitting that like, share, and subscribe. Uh, guys, uh, liking these videos is the only thing with the new YouTube algorithms that keeps them going and growing. So I would really appreciate you doing that for me. Also, guys, remember hit Project Next One. There's always one more. So keep a lookout for videos coming. I try to do a couple a week. And um, also, guys, uh, as you can see on this video, I will include in the end screens. Uh, I was involved in helping my son finish this where we got to put all the metal roof up on top. And that's a pretty cool video. And again, I'll include that in the end screens. So for now, guys, y'all stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you later.